Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 25th, 2023. Well, my goodness, we had kind of an interesting day yesterday where the markets tried to get going and then just, well, the worry about the big tech reports didn't, uh, didn't give us enough energy to move. And then unfortunately we ended up with those big tech reports giving us a mix of data. We've got European markets down across the board this morning. Asian markets, well, they did, did a little bit better. They were mixed um, and I would say mixed and mostly higher with um, the Nikkei leading the way to the upside while um, we saw Australia moving lower because they had higher than expected inflation numbers that came out. We have oil flat this morning, just a little bit down actually right at this moment, um, but we've got the United States um, threatening more sanctions on Iran due to their involvement with Hamas. And we have the International Monetary Fund chief um, suggesting that Israel Hamas is a new cloud on the world economic horizon. Well, that's kind of an understatement. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's try to remove our bias here, take a look at these charts, and see if we can figure out how the market might approach, how we might approach the market for today. Well, as I mentioned, we had really good news from Microsoft yesterday. Microsoft looking for a substantial gap up here this morning um, after its earnings report. And then Google and Alphabet going the opposite direction here after their report. And what was interesting in the other reports on the afternoon, there was a major mix in the data. There, there were winners and losers. It wasn't any defined um, uh, direction as far as bearishness or bullishness. It was just kind of stuck in the middle. And unfortunately, we kind of see the futures this morning um, thinking the same thing, kind of stuck in the middle, just not really able to get a whole lot of positive going, not really able to get much negative going, at least at this early hour at 5.30 a.m. Let's take a look at um, our charts. And we can see that we have lifted off here just a little bit. We've, we've bumped up, and so that's good news. We needed a relief rally, um, but we seem to just have a failure of those bulls to be able to garner enough energy to push on through. Seems to be a, a kind of a sticky pessimism here in the market that doesn't want to um, relieve much of that pressure. So as you can see, we still have this potential of this double bottom or W formation here in the chart if we could get that rally going. But if those bulls continue to push here this morning, well, you want to notice we've got a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart. By the way, this carries back across here a ways as well. So watch that area first. If the bulls can push through there, then I think there is that possibility. If they can push through there, we could trigger a bit of a short squeeze and really drive some of the short traders out. But I think that might be temporary the way we're acting. And if we push on through here, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a level right in there in the chart and then maybe we can push on up and test this downtrend now if the bears uh, find inspiration today and there's certainly reason to believe that they could find that inspiration today we've got bond yields edging higher this morning so if the bears were to come in and push back down well 
pretty easy to see the support area in the chart and if that doesn't hold well then we start looking lower in the chart and we're probably talking about levels maybe right down in here as the next level of price support in the diamond so oof um, I know there's a lot of folks thinking come on let's get going bulls um, I'm kind of one of them because I think we need that relief rally I'm not saying that the market's bullish but that we need a bit of a relief rally so that we can re-engage some potential short trades. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the charts. Our technicals obviously uh, remain very bearish. Our 34 EMA has now crossed down through the 200 and you can see our 50 day moving average is moving down um, pretty quickly and I'm guessing uh, by the end of the week, uh, first part of next week, our 50 day moving average will be down through our 200 here in the chart. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, a little bit of nothing going on here this morning. Um, as you can see, we've got um, a bit of a gap down here, um, just a little bit lower on the day. Yeah, well, at least right now. And looking at this chart, you can see that that situation with Google moving lower and Apple moving up, it's just kind of flat here. So we've got a little bit of price support right in here. And if the bears continue to find um, inspiration and break down through that area of support, well, we're right back down here testing the lows, recent lows here in the market. And then that possibility, if that breaks, oh my goodness, we could move fairly uh, hard to the downside, maybe even down. Um, well, there's a, uh, there's a pretty good support right in here. Uh, maybe down in there would be the next level. And then we're pushing on lower, possibly down into here to try and find some support in the chart so we'll want to watch this area pretty closely here on the day if the bulls find that inspiration then maybe we can push on up and we finally can test this resistance in the chart and breaking through there you can see we've got a nice little potential move up here there is a little bit of price resistance you can see not it's not huge but there is some price resistance here and you can see that kind of comes right over here and ties in a little bit with this low but um, that would kind of bring us right up into that downtrend for a test and it'd be nice to see at least that much relief I don't know. I don't know if we've got the energy to do it at the moment. Um, we, we shall see. And then let's take a look at our QQQ. Our QQQ um, obviously struggling here again this morning, gapping down in the pre-market here below um, yesterday's open. We had a couple of days of follow through after making this new low but we're just kind of a failure to thrive here. We just can't seem to get the buying energy that I would have guessed um, would have come in as this huge anticipation on big tech reports. But watching this carefully, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, you'll see we've got a pretty good resistance up here. And that's a fairly strong resistance. So we're gonna need something special maybe to push through there if we can then we're probably looking at something up here in the middle uh, for a little bit of price resistance before we test this downtrend in the chart on the QQQ. I need to just kind of extend that on out here. So we'll be watching those levels here in the QQQ. Technically, um, still below our 50-day moving average, we've created a pretty good zone of technical resistance with all of our moving averages right in here so watch that close and then if we take a look at our Russell continuing to be the weakest of the indexes um, just not moving here and you can see popping back down we're close to our lows again here in IWM just not just not finding the energy here in the small caps so looking here if the bears continue to push lower here this morning I would suggest we come into this low and see if we can hold that level if that fails well let's see um, if we were to fail that area 
probably down into right in this area of the chart would be our next level lower so um, watch that closely um, if the bears can push on through if the bulls happen to find inspiration well you can see we've got plenty of upside opportunity there's a little bit of price resistance on those tails right in here and you can see we tested that um, last couple of days in trading and just couldn't push on through with these two wicks up here but if we can pop through that little area right in there then we have that chance of moving on up and testing this resistance level in the chart. And we're gonna need, again, we're gonna need something special maybe to push us through there, some really good news to break us up through that area of the chart. Um, technically dismal, really dismal. And we've got just a tremendous amount of work to start um, rebuilding and improving here in the small caps. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX pulled back yesterday. So interestingly enough, we did pull back with a little bit less fear, but I'm afraid the way the market's looking this morning, that may change. We might see that push back up. Now, the critical point in here is the, the support and the trend. If we were to hold in this area and start back up, I think we could really see some major fear coming into the market, particularly if we pop out of here and stretch. That would be very, very fearful for the market and we could see some ramifications from that. But if the bulls can continue to find a little bit of inspiration here, we could push on down, maybe test this trend, test this support area, and then maybe even push on through then we start relieving that pressure um, and maybe maybe we can get that uh, bit of a relief rally to extend for a short period of time at least so keep a close eye on that our t2122 this is one that you know typically i would see um, respond pretty sharply back with um, a, a bit of a relief rally not so much the case here you can see we did lift up we kind of come out of the 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 bearish or excuse me bullish reversal zone in here just kind of peeked out of there which means if the bears find reason for inspiration today we certainly have opened up an opportunity that we could go down and retest down here on the bottom side if the bulls can find something in the data to push us up well then of course we've got lots of upside opportunity and i still think the potential of that bit of a short squeeze if we can get some kind of data to to move us along we'll see if we've got the energy to do that or not our uh, t2108 i gotta tell you it was nice to see the bounce here but not so impressive overall you can see we just barely popped up here we've got 18 and a half percent of our stocks above the 40-day moving average uh, that's not exactly a big warm and fuzzy on the bullish side here and as you can see we've got um, resistance above that we'll have to be testing um, in those charts to see if we can push on through there so we've got some work here to do on the t2108 to get things going so uh, a nice it's nice to see that we're trying um, whether or not we're going to make it through that i don't know and if the bears find that inspiration you could easily see us breaking this support and moving right on down and testing these next levels in the chart so watch that our um, t2107 very much the same it did turn up but you'll notice kind of out here floating in midair we've got a major resistance area up here and um, the actual support that we see in the charts probably a little bit lower so we tried to turn here about middle of the range and we just didn't get much energy to move up 28.76 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average and you can see we really kind of have an equal chance if the bulls find um, inspiration maybe we continue to move up here to test this resistance and downtrend if the bears find inspiration it wouldn't be that much of a surprise from here to see us move on down to test the next level of support our uh, t2101 did give us 
Well, maybe that little bit of hope on that bullish move that we had yesterday. Notice we tried to peek out from under here and at one point in time we were stretched up a little bit more and we and that was at least on the buying wave of the market. What we need to see is we need to see buyers come in and we need to see that breadth expand to the upside. If we see the breadth expand on the next sell wave, that's going to be a problem. We could spike above this area and we could see some major fear coming into the market. So we're right there at that cusp where, where we're trying to make a decision. Are we going to shake this off and move up a um, little bit higher or are these earnings going to continue to bring on the bears and possibly drive us lower with all the geopolitical issues that we're facing here in the market as well. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things that we wanna be paying attention to here this morning. If you take a look, we've got uh, mortgage applications that'll be coming in here this morning. Watch that closely. We're going to be catching some data from the new home sales today. Um, new home sales are expected to uh, come in a little bit stronger than the prior uh, based on consensus. So seeing those sales come up, that's probably not what the Fed wants to see. That might be um, uh, more hints of an inflationary pressure. Um, we've got State Street investor confidence, probably won't matter much. Uh, petroleum status, I think, will be very, very important today. We've got some bond auctions to be paying attention to here today. And then we've got Jerome Powell that will be speaking after the bell. Now that's nice that it's after the bell, but just keeping in mind, whatever he says could be market moving for the next day. Looking into um, Thursday, it's gonna be one of our bigger days. Um, and boy, do we have some data that could be causing this pensiveness in the market right now. Uh, durable goods orders, GDP, international trading goods, jobless claims coming in. We've got um, some Fed speak. We've got pending home sales and natural gas on Thursday. So we're coming into our bigger, more uh, market moving days. And then of course the personal PCE out here will be a big number that could move us substantially as well. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. And oh my goodness, we have a big day again in earnings. A um, couple of the big techs, um, giants that are gonna port, report today. We're gonna hear from Meta um, after the bell today and Amazon um, will be reporting today. So keep an eye on those. Those could move substantially, as you know, and um, could provide either that catalyst for that move up or that catalyst for the move down. So watch that closely. Other than that, if you want to catch the full list of notables, guys, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. Um, other stocks that we'll be hearing from today, we're going to be getting reports from Boeing. Obviously, Boeing has been struggling a lot here, trying to pop up right now in the pre-market. We've got the CME group. This has been extremely bullish chart, um, looking very strong here, heading into its earnings. We're gonna hear from IBM today. So keep an eye on that. We've got um, stocks like Mattel reporting, a little pop and drop going on there in Mattel this morning. Um, we're going to hear from O'Reilly today. We've got some of our transports that we'll be reporting, um, Old Dominion. So keep an eye there. Um, we um, have URI, United Rentals, will be reporting today. And last but not least, um, we're going to put in, I'm going to give you Western Union here. 
we'll be reporting today. So keep an eye on some of those. And there's a, there's a slew of reports here today. So make sure you click that link below the title of the video um, and catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who did that yesterday. And I apologize um, in the trading room. They got me going on a topic of um, um, options and details in options involving the Greeks. And I just didn't get an, enough time to get over there and answer all your comments. So I apologize. I will be back on that task today. Um, let's take a look at some of these charts. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. Make sure you are paying close attention to the risk in the market. And you're not, you're not messing around um, over trading in this market because it is very dangerous. We're very pensive at the moment. And I think anything is possible. Take a look at uh, Starbucks. Starbucks is setting up an a pretty nice upside pattern trying to get something going here now this is going to report on 11.2 so that might mess this thing up completely but as you can see we've got a nice little upside trend and i placed a price alert across this area as we kind of consolidate out toward the trend so keep an eye on starbucks if that can find that bullish move you might be able to push that right through there in the chart how about um rblx rblx had that nice little pattern in here. We talked about this one, pushed up through there. I did, and, and really it was uh, one of the uh, members of the room notified me that this was popping and took a look at it. And I ended up picking up a position on this as well. So I have a little bit of a bias, but it's looking um, pretty positive here at the moment. Now you will wanna keep in mind, it's reporting on 11.8 and that possibility, if we can find that energy in the market, this might push on up and possibly even fill that gap here um, in RBLX. So watch that closely here. Um, other places that you might look, boy, I hate to do this because I know no one wants to hear this, but take a look at SQQQ. SQQQ, inverted head and shoulder, I mean, inverted pattern here, trying to build a head and inverted head and shoulders pattern right now on um, this ultra pro short on the NASDAQ. And you can see that possibility. If we were to break this area up here, we could see that extension on the short side here of the market. Take That's looking pretty good overall. Um, when we look at stocks like RWM, which is a single uh, wide short on IWM, it's one for one. This has been extremely bullish to the upside. Taking a look at DOG, DOG is one for one on um, the Dow, and you can see that possibility here that this could push on through this neckline here in the chart. And this is a bigger, pretty darn big head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here in the chart on a dog. So you might wanna keep an eye on some of those inverse um, ETFs um, in the market. Let's take a look at our energy um, area. Energy has been so incredibly volatile, but with this chance that we increase or add more sanctions to Iran, that's a threat from the White House right now that that may be the case. So watching this carefully in here, if we do that, I wouldn't be surprised to see oil prices spike. So watch that closely. There are still stocks out there trying to hold up pretty good in this sector. Um, you know, ConocoPhillips trying to hang in there, possible inverted head and shoulders pattern. So there are quite a few out there to be watching. Keep an eye on some of the defensive sector stocks. Starting to see a little bit of um, defensive um, rebounds. Take a look, Coke after their earnings bouncing up here just a little bit. We broke through a little bit of resistance in the chart. We've still got some work to do, but we're coming out from underneath this downtrend. Hold a little higher low and grab onto that trend. 
and then we may have some upside opportunity there. This truly not defensive sector, but um, in the telecommunications se sector where there's really big dividends, and you can see we've got AT&T breaking up higher, holding a price support, starting to move on higher, and this has that chance it can get a nice um, sympathetic upside move because of the big pop in Verizon after its earnings reports yesterday breaking uh, through this downtrend here in telecommunications. So keep an eye in that area of the market might be some love. And then I'm seeing some pretty good um, signs here in some of our, um, you know, uh, discount um, based um, retail. Take a look at Dollar General setting up this possible higher low in here. Watch for that opportunity that could move on higher, uh, five below. Still looking good and potentially setting up the next long to the upside right off of that trend. So watch there in five below. Um, dollar, tr dollar Tree um, trying in here. Obviously, we've pulled back a little bit harder in this, but we're trying to find some support in here. And this one might still be a little bit questionable, but maybe one for the list. How about Macy's? Macy's putting in a nice little rectangle bottom formation in here. And you can see that possibility that we just might break out of that area, start pushing on higher. This is a nice little higher low potential in the chart. So keep an eye on some of those retail. And even on the bigger retail side, oh, Wally World um, made a nice move yesterday, popping through after a big reversal here um, on Tuesday really popped higher here yesterday any rest or pullback now I think sets up that opportunity that this may um, have more upside coming here on that discount retail side so keep an eye on those so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here thank you for listening and and uh, clicking those su subscribe buttons leaving those comments I do truly appreciate it I want to wish you all the very very best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning have a great day everyone